All right, guys, you want to learn how to run the Mind Lab Manticore on a beach? Well, this is the place for you to be. Glad you clicked on the video. I'm going to show you the Mind Lab Manticore settings that I use here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And these settings are used all the way down to Florida and all the way to the Gulf Coast of the United States. Now, if your beach has black sand, that may be a different story. Our beaches are not really loaded with black sand here on the East Coast. So, the Mind Lab Manicore. How do we run it on an East Coast beach in wet salt sand? Well, I choose, and my base program is going to be based off Beach Slow Conductor. And why is that? Beach Slow Conductor on the Mind Lab Manicore is a high weighted frequency beach program. It is running the highest frequency on the metal detector in the beach programs. What does that do? The high frequency gives, in the, in the simultaneous multi-weighting of the high frequency, it gives the detector the ability to see super tiny objects and it gives the detector greater depth on gold rings, like say 14 karat, 10 karat, you know, 22 karat gold rings, what we're all looking for. Well, the beach low conductors at extreme depth has an advantage over the other beach programs. And also, if you're into micro jewelry hunting, it really can find some tiny stuff. Now, some people don't like that the manicure becomes so sensitive to super tiny objects. Well, I'll show you a remedy for that with the other programs too. I'm gonna also tell you that if you're thinking that Beach Low Conductor is gonna be the most stable program to walk in the water with, that's not gonna happen. Um, Beach, the dive mode is going, uh, the beach surf and seawater, I'm sorry, I'm confusing it with another brand metal detector, is going to be more, you know, optimal for what you're looking for there as far as stability in the salt water. So, we're going to demo beach low conductor. I'm going to show you beach uh, surf and seawater, and I'm going to show you the difference in the stability at the edge of the water running the exact same settings. I've got a gold pendant here with a ruby in it. I'll show you right here, in the, uh, uh, look right there in the corner of the screen. It's very small, 14K uh, find that I found on the beach a few years ago. But it's a good demo uh, of what the changes are between the deep, uh, different beach programs. So, know this. One thing about Mind Lab that I kind of have a gripe about is how they've got this sensitivity ran on this machine. So people look at this and they go, oh, the thing has got 34, five increments of sensitivity. Well, I'm going to tell you, just go ahead and forget that. When you're dealing with the beach with a manicure, you see that 23 on the screen, 22, 21, 20? That's where you need to be with a manicure. If you come above 23 wearing an 11 inch coil, the nine inch coil is an exception. If you come above that, you start getting erratic behavior out of the machine. And you really, in my opinion, do not gain anything. I have depth tested this machine on a 3.5 to 4 gram 14 karat gold ring. It'll hit it down around 14 or 15 inches set up like this. And you've got a good, stable running, minimal noise program on this machine. Now, let's, let's just dive into the settings. One thing that you'll notice up there is I have a tracking ground balance. I run tracking ground balance, so as I come out of the wet sand here and I come up the beach, I let the manicure adjust itself to the different ground conditions under the coil. It is super fast, the technology is good, and no, I've never watched it or seen it track an object out. So. It's a highly advanced metal detector with a great feature for beach hunting. Put the doggone thing in tracking, take off and let it go. Have found zero negative effects. Older machines and older tech sometimes would track out targets. This one does not do that, that I have ever seen over thousands of targets on the beach. Now, with that being said, let's dive into this thing. There's a couple important things here. So we, we've talked about sensitivity, and that is one of the biggest things on this machine that I see that people get it. In my lab, you, you got, it is what it is, but, but remember this, 20, 21, 22, 23, and even on land hunting, those higher increments are, in my opinion, basically useless. And don't think that running this machine, even on land, that this sucker is not the deepest or one of the deepest metal detectors in the world 
running 21, 22, 23, 24. Just remember that. More is less on the beach and on land a lot of times too. Okay, so we're in beach low conductors. Everything that you're gonna see is based off of this and you can change these settings over to your other programs and just run them across the board. Noise castle, you can do that. You know, go ahead and noise castle the machine every time you come to the beach. I like to come to the beach, noise castle the machine, then get my coil, bob it down around the wet sand with the track and let the machine adjust and take off hunting. Now, the ground balance, you see where it's ground balancing. Recovery speed is at four. This is what I found. I do not like to run the Mind Lab product below four on the saltwater beach. I get great depth and I get stability out of the four. Now, guys, one thing that I want to point out right here that these settings are a baseline and the recovery of four that I showed you, I had to change that this morning to a five to get the stability that I desired on the beach. We had a tropical storm come up this way uh, last week and it had a big ingress or a push of water and it changed the beach condition. So always remember that sensitivity, recovery speed, work in conjunction to gain your stability. So what did I tell you on the Manicor? More is less, so 20, 21, 22, 23 with 11 inch coil, maybe 24 with a nine, but you can run that recovery speed four and five. The five got me where I wanted to be. So stay tuned for the rest of the instructional video. With that being said, four to me is the magic number on the Manicor. Ferris limits, eight and five. You could play around with this, but I do not see any need to because at this point on the beach, I'm not hunting a relic iron site. There is iron on the beach, of course, but it's not like a carpet of nails. And eight and five do extremely well. This machine is set up so good that you can tell bottle caps. And I've compared this and we, with my other friends, and I'll run the Deus too. I'll run the Manicor, and we'll compare bottle caps. And both of those machines are extremely, extremely good at identifying bottle caps. So, Ferris volume. That is subjective. I like to run mine down a little bit, maybe about six to four, but that'll be up to you to where you want. Maybe you need it up a little bit to help you with the bottle caps a little more, but that'll be, that'll be a choice that you're gonna have to make, but just start out at four to six, make the adjustment from there. Um, the depth audio theme, why do I run depth audio theme? Because on the beach, it gives me a dig or don't dig response. But there is nuance to the depth audio theme. You'll hear open hoop earrings. They will sound different. Chains will sound different. Bottle caps will sound different. So there is a nuance in the depth audio. Now, I can't choose your audio, but here's the deal. I use depth audio on the beach. If you have a manicure, and let's say that you come to the beach, you know, once a year and you're using one region all tones, then you should use one region, in my opinion, you probably might want to use one region all tones at that time in the beach program to keep the machine the same. If you're coming on vacation, if you hunt the beach all the time, that might be a different story and you're familiar with the audio on the Manicor because I got a class talking about not changing audios on the Manicor. So I use depth on the beach, but you got to see where you are in your learning curve. You don't want to confuse yourself with the Manicor, like if you go back and look at my boot camp video, I suggest when you're learning it, you keep the audio same in whatever program you're using. Land programs, hunting relics, coins, beach program, it stays the same. But if, but if you're familiar with it and you're comfortable, depth audio is what I like for relics, for land, and for the beach. Now, how do I run it? I run it at a medium profile. And, and it's really just about that simple. Let me crank up my other mic let me mic up the Manicor, and if we got any type of you know noise, I'm going to show you how to calm it down. So I got my bottom cam thing loose here. Let me uh, tighten that up just a little bit and uh, get that back straightened out. There we go. It's just rolling on me. Let me get that straightened up. There we go. There we go. Should have done that before I got on camera, right? But listen to the Manicor. She's going to track. Look how quiet she got. Notice that the meter's not going crazy. What happens if I try to get too much out of it? You see all that erratic behavior that I'm getting there? You notice at 25, it's doing that. 
So I, I had a man who just bought one. He went to the beach and hunted with 25. He's like, it's erratic. Well, I do not, do not fault him. I fought my lab for that. You guys should have changed the sensitivity levels on this. That's really confusing on this unit. 23. A little bit of noise. You see that? Calm at 23, but I like mine at 22. Notice the machine. Notice the machine. Water hit the coal. Remember what I told you? Beach low conductors is not the program that you're going to submerge in the water like that. It's not the program for that. Surf and seawater is, but let's just look at this machine. Let's watch it. We could even lower it to 21 if we need to, it's according to how the salt content is. Let me make sure that my mic is recording. Nope. Alright, I want to edit that video. Alright, I'm going to show you the Mind Lab Bandicore in the salt water. I did a test and I didn't have my mic on on the machine, so forgive me. I don't have a cameraman with me today. A little bit tough. But this is at 21. Notice how stable, look at the GoPro, or look at the screen. Notice how stable this metal detector is. Now watch. You didn't even really get any feedback in Beach Low Conductor at 21, but we could get a little bit more out of it, maybe 22. This is not the program for the, for the, for the surf. I'm going to show you, but this is a bad to the bone program. There's a tiny gold object buried here. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. You're going to crap when I break that out of the ground and show you what that is. Let me get this thing away from me. That is a tiny 14 karat gold pendant at about 9 inches deep. And this thing is totally crushing it. USA Nickel. 15 to 16 inches down here in the wet salt surf. This thing will have you digging to China if you're not careful. Okay, now let's say that we want to hunt down there in the water. What do we do? Well, we take those settings that I just showed you and we come over and do what? We come over and go to another program. We go to, oops, my bad. We go to surf and seawater, right? We come up here, we're going to bring everything over. We're going to cut the ground balance tracking on. We're going to re put the recovery speed at four. Discrimination pattern all metal, same presets. Ferris volume, we're going to bring it down to about six. Ain't that what we said? We're going to come up here. We're going to change this to depth. We're going to come in here, make sure it's on a medium profile. And we're going to noise cancel it. Because this changed the frequency of the machine. We're going to pump this. We're going to see what kind of sensitivity adjustment that we have to make. Oh yeah, she's tracked to it now. Let's see if we can hear it. Piece of iron air rubbish. Let's just walk out in the water with it. Let me take my glasses off. I'm getting sea drunk. We might bump it down one. Wow! <laughs> Got my mics wet. That's nice, man. Well, that water there, son, is whipping. <laughs> Almost getting up on my gold pendant. But we see the machine is really stable right there. And what we could do is if you get down into the seawater, and let's say that it's not as stable as you want, I'll go ahead and troubleshoot that for you real quick, and I'll show you how to get it more stable. Bump the recovery speed up. That will help you, and you may have to drop the sensitivity another notch, but that's how you get the machine stable in conjunction. Sensitivity recovery speed is going to help you with this machine. Look how stable that thing is. You guys see that? Look at that water. Of course, it gets a little chirp. All machines do when the wave hits it. Look at that water coming over that coal. You see that? Well, and it'll, all of them will blip a little bit, but look at that water on that coal. Notice that meter. 
You can hunt in the water all day long like that. Now, what is the trade-off of putting it in surf and seawater? Well, it shifts the detector into a lower frequency, and I doubt that it will hit that gold pendant. And that's what you lose. And it's also another thing, some people say, well, that's a negative. Just remember, beach slow conductor really smacks small stuff. So you are going to be digging small stuff on a regular basis. And some people don't like that coming from the FBS uh, machines or, you know, like an Excalibur or the CTX. They like a real calmer machine. Well, the Manticore is going to mimic the CTX at a lighter weight, the Excalibur at a way lighter weight with a better monitor and great bottle cap rejection set up like this. It's going to be very similar to the stability. It's going to be similar in depth set up like this to a CTX. This machine in the beach low conductor on gold is, is the deepest or the second deepest or the tie with the day. They're both right neck and neck in the world right now. These are uh, This detector is leading in the world along with the Deus 2 on the saltwater beach for depth of gold. Let me quit running my mouth. I'm going to show you something. So here's the pendant. It does hit the pendant. Let's raise a coil. Okay, let's go back over to Let's lower the recovery speed down. Let's go back to beach low conductors. Now watch. You see the depth, you see the height right there, the depth difference. Coil lifted right there. Back to surf and seawater. And you got a depth advantage. It ain't by a whole lot. You got a depth advantage of about that much on a small gold object with that. But just remember, if you want a more stable machine in the water that's still super deep on gold, then you can set it up in surf and seawater. And you can hunt the whole beach like that. If you don't want to dig these super tiny targets, just set it up in surf and seawater and it will not be near as sensitive as beach low conductors to those tiny earring backs and tiny pieces of foil and all that stuff that comes in in the gold range. But that's the Mind Lab Manticore. And there's other programs on it, but I'm doing those two programs because I like beach low conductor. And if I want to hunt in the water, I use surf and seawater. And there's a couple in between, but I don't really care for those. Beach General is also a good program, but it tends to be more like beach low conductor. So keep that in mind if you're trying to use general in the water, it's gonna be more erratic, more unstable like beach low conductor. And if you want almost a silent search in the water with great depth, then you need to go to surf and seawater. Recovery, recover, to recap, recovery speed of four and maybe bump it up if you need be. Depth audio is what I like with a medium profile. I like my iron uh, volume, it's four to six. I like my, uh, Dang, I'm losing my mind, guys. I'm getting old. I like my upper and lower Ferris limit set factory because this thing is excellent on bottle caps. And it's just that simple. Tracking ground balance. And to recap, what is the most important thing on this machine? Sensitivity. Do not run it too hot. Use your sensitivity in conjunction with your recovery speed, and that's how you get this machine stable in this environment. So stay tuned. And I'll be showing some more Manticore videos, hunting videos, where I'm, I'm going to go on a big beach hunt tomorrow before I go home with it. And uh, I hope to show some good finds with it. Thanks for watching.